are such an asshole. Hey, Cappy, how much would you charge me for a video response clear test on this imbecile? Thanks. The imbecile is Chesa Bodine. Bodin? Chesa. Who names a kid Chesa? Hippies. Chesa. Bodin. Chesa Bodin, American lawyer. Chesa Bodin. Um, Chesa Bodin is running for... Okay, he's a politician. Uh, Chesa Bodin. For 1980, American lawyer, writer, lecturer, specializing in U.S. criminal justice system, and Latin American policy, district attorney, elect of San Francisco, having won the 2019 11, or 20, 2019. Uh, born in New York, parents Kathy Bowden and G David Gilbert were weather underground members. Oh, okay, so this kid didn't think independently of his parents. Who were her parents? Parents were arrested for the murder of their role as getaway car drivers in Brinks robbery. Oh, okay. Mother sentenced to 20 years of life. His father to 75 felony murders. Wow. After his parents were incarcerated, uh, Bowden was... I guess he didn't come from uh, wealth. Was raised by adoptive parents. Bill Ayers? Wait, is that the... The communist uh, Westinghouse heir? The, the trust fund baby? Former head... Uh, Communist Revolutionary Group. I think, yeah, Westinghouse is the parents. Look at where all that rich money. You communists couldn't do it without your parents raising all your fucking money. Chairman and Executive of Commonwealth Edison. All right, well, here's the problem that we face with, um, what's this guy's name again? Chesa. Um, dude had a hard uh, life as a kid. Oh, when he was 14 months old. Okay, so he wasn't cognizant, sort of. Then he got adopted by a rich guy and trust fund baby. Um, uh, grandfather. Okay, his whole family is Marxist and surprise, surprise, he's, uh, okay, fine. He earned two master's degrees, one in forced migration, the other in public policy in Latin America. Okay, so worthless degrees. Worthless degrees. I'm going to give it to him that he came from, uh, from spoil. He was rich. Um, his grandfather, adopted grandfather, I guess, was wealthy. Bill Ayers is wealthy. <clears throat> Kathy Bord Bowden was released under parole supervision in 2003. Uh, long lineage career. So then he went to law school. Um, he got a doctorate. Before law school, Bowdoin traveled to Venezuela and served as a translator in the administration of then President Hugo Chavez. Okay, so he's not real job. Law school served as law clerk, career, nice circus, uh, fellow at San Francisco Defender's Office. Served as a clerk. I, I guess th these are these are somewhat real jobs. I'll I'll give them. I'll only give him half a point. It's a penalty for anyone new to the Clary test. You don't want to have a high score. You want to have a low score. But he had, this is some real work. I'll, I'll say he did some real work. He gets half a point uh, instead of a full point. But he came from wealth, half a point. Worthless degree. What's he doing now? Did he ever do anything? He translated more Marxist shit. And now he is... Uh, He's a politician. Uh, he has no private sector experience. I guess we could use that as the real stuff. But I always, it's like cops. Well, technically cops aren't pri the private sector, but it's a real job. A real job should be really what it is. And, and some of this stuff he did was real work. Um, but yeah, of course, he's going to become a politician. Uh, I'm going to give him half a point because um, he just started running for office. But don't worry, he'll he'll become a career politician and it'll be a full point. So he's got three point, half a point for, he's, I'm just predicting he's going to become a career politician because his entire career has been, you know, he's never worked the fields or the mines. Ironically, being a Marxist, they're all for workers, but none of them actually worked. Um... Also, his choice of degrees has 
made it painfully clear he just wanted to avoid real work. He doesn't want to work in a coal mine or <coughs> feel, and he translates and writes poetry. Okay, good for him. Uh, worthless degree came from wealth. Footnote, uh, unfortunate problem with his biological parents. So that, that's not nice. That's um, unfortunate. Worthless degree. No real world working experience, career politician, sort of, so adds up to one. Um, worthless degree, uh, came from wealth. So it gets a point of three. Would I want to have a beer with him? No. I don't have beer with stupid, uninteresting cookie. This is, this isn't even a human. This is just someone who's been conditioned. Other people's money make you soft. They don't even make you human. You're just a robot. Oh, wow. He's a Marxist. Who knew people who live off of other people's money think other people's money is the solution to everything because that's all they know. I, d I don't have time for such simple minds. I like my mind. I'd rather talk to uh, a Black Panther. I'd rather talk to, uh, I'd rather talk to an Al-Qaeda member because at least it's different. At least there's a, those guys didn't have a ton of wealth. The Al-Qaeda guys are happy if they got a goat. And the Black Panthers, I can understand if you're black because you came up through poverty. Real poverty. You didn't have some trust fund baby. Hey, I'll adopt you, kid. <clears throat> I mean, it's standard rich white liberals. Um, and should he run for office? Of course he shouldn't, but he did because this is a perfect example of why you have it. I don't... I don't know, William Myers, Bill Ayers is about to die. Yeah, Chase of Bowden, there's no, there's no testosterone there. What does he look like? Am I... Yeah, okay. All right, good for him. Yeah, I, well, it's San Francisco. What are you going to do? All right, that's it. Questions, answers, asshole consult. Oh, it's Juan, our buddy Juan in uh, San Francisco, of course. Yeah, your, your district attorney is, well, a San Franciscan district attorney. All right, we'll see you guys later. Toodles.